All right, YouTube. Uh, just wanted to give you a sneak peek of the, uh, I'll just call it a holdover bin for now. There's various ages of worms in here. This is pretty much where I've tried to isolate my worms from uh, my other containers because the other containers have had uh, black soldier fly larvae. And I personally don't want to necessarily bring those into my house yet because I'm way too uh, uncoordinated to risk having those come up in here. So as you can see, we got a big boy, you know, pretty decent sized boy. Um, castlings look pretty good. I really am trying to just move some of this around. Oh yeah, look at all that. Look at all them worms. Oh yeah. As you can see, there's plenty of them in there. Messing around, little babies. Um, oh yeah, they love the cardboard that's in there. Love mating in that. Um, at the moment, I do not see. Sorry if my head's getting in the way of the beginning of that. Um, so far, I don't see any black soldier li uh, fly larvae, so that is promising. Um, let's see here. Sorry, wormies. I know I'm being a jerk. I'm pretty sure. Um, please, the other worm YouTubers, y'all are the ones I go off of, so if those look like red worm, uh, red wigglers, let me know. I know there can be others in here as well. These are all the sand that you see in my backyard, just straight up beach sand. They're all in there. They're not at the surface. They're, I guess, down below in their own little peaks and valleys or whatever, but I put an in-ground bed, put some leaves in there found some of these guys and they just keep multiplying so the combination of ah, give me a second because there is if i'm not mistaken there's some of them in here that are kind of more not necessarily like dark brown or anything like that like they're not those flat headed ones that are i think an issue um i, I guess they'd be more like european night crawlers maybe but Either way, these guys all came to me. Didn't have to buy them, so that was pretty cool. Made me realize that as long as I can give them something, they will come to me just like that. Um, then it's a matter of, like y'all do. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. There's, I can't quite tell what we got going on with that one. Looks like you just reached for something. Hmm. Um, I guess I should try to find some uh, cocoons. Um, would that be one? Half the time I can't tell if I've got cocoons that I've already hatched. I know when I go deep enough that's where I have this is all just top dirt level there is a level down there that has and I doubt it's broken down all the way just some more uh oh wow yeah I don't know if y'all can really see all that but I mean there are just babies you're putting babies in there and look there's a I think there's a cocoon right there next to one of them but uh, they just love hanging out and this stuff. Man, I'm gonna get. Oh, there we go. Let me turn that over. Oh yeah, there we go. Dang, I'm starting to actually get some good um, clusters. I don't really take care of them as well as I should. So. Oh yeah. Um. There we go. We got them tangling. Mingling. Anyways, um, okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. Hello, you. I want to know, is this a European Nightcrawler? Is that what? Because that boy don't look red, but I get ones like these, and as you can see, this boy is, he's either 
Uh, yeah, just give me some uh, insight. Definitely trying to show as much of the footage as I can. Hey, hello. Is that your butt? Is that your head? Oops, sorry. I'm still getting a hang of the whole recording things, guys. To be honest, I'm having so much fun with this, it's just hard not to. But typically, I will run bins, and I will have sand in these. I mean, I will basically do a version of... What I want to do now is the pre-compost, like uh, Rock and Worms does, to f like speed it all up. That was some of my native sand. Using that native sand from beds that I sort of... Uh, from whenever I transplant bigger pots and I have that excess sand that I dig out. Boom. I try to convert that sand with the pre-compost that I need to actually start making. I need to make some of that. I use... I use Bokashi juice. Juice. And... Oh, hello. Oh, that's the same guy. Oh. What you got going on here? Looks like some... That's cool. Um, oh, sorry about that. Let me fix this real quick. Oh, okay. All right, let me. I don't have too much time. I still got work, so I'm trying to just do what I can. I'm trying to get to that bottom level to really see what we got down there. And that is where that moisture is, which obviously, I guess, helps for breeding. Because, as you can see... Oh, yeah, they're getting babies. That's what I'm talking about. I like to show that right there. I mean, that is a baby baby. Yeah. I mean, obviously, that's a baby, too. But you can see the difference there. And I love that. That is how I know. Um, I guess at least I got babies in here. Um, definitely, I guess, I haven't really done the whole thing, like and subscribe and all that. Personally, I don't care, I guess. But I do know that for some people, that's how it's able to, like, reach them, is the whole algorithm and whatnot. But, I don't know. I'm gonna eventually do my best at this I need for my pump. I need this for my, uh rainwater storage pump kind of thing is the only thing that fits it. So all these guys are eventually going to come out. And maybe I can make... Dude, I could probably make, honestly. These boys. I could probably make... And see, that's what I did put at the very bottom. I wanted to bring that up. Oh. Obviously, they're tangled in it. Which is probably really cool to see. Um... So this is just all lawn clippings. I put that at the bottom because I knew, knew a lot of this was gonna have moisture. These were in a fabric bag that got completely rained on. I mean, it's been raining for a week. It still has been raining. That'll allow me to probably not have to rain anything till friggin' spring next year, as crazy as that sounds. As long as they plant the right stuff. But um, I put that in the bottom. It soaked up the moisture. It can go anaerobic if it wants to because the worms create pathways Worms will create pathways, I assume, when they dig, poop, eat, move, dance, party, whatever they do. Um, dang it. I'm trying to get a cocoon. But as you can see, there's plenty of babies. Um, the way I see it is they'll, they'll make sure it doesn't go too anaerobic. And obviously, I check on them, you know. I come in here and do this number. And see that obviously there's again more than I started with. Oh, damn it. I keep that stuff from splishing. Hello, you again. Um. Okay, there we go. Would that be a red wiggler? Sorry, guys. Or a European night crawler? Eventually, I'll start using my tripod and understanding the differences in uh, focus on the camera and all that stuff. I'm just using an iPhone. And that's probably honestly what I will continue to use. And I'll probably just have to do it by myself because I don't really... I just want to do it by myself pretty much. But I want to share everything so that way 
There's a network of information. There we go. Hello, you were the one I wanted to find. Now this, see how he just changed color? I don't know if anybody caught that on the camera, but I mean this, okay, he's got that, that gloss to him. It's hard to see, oh, there you go. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'm seeing it on the camera myself. It's that green little, whoop, shabby. Anywho. You got a little baby worm next to him. Hello. Oh, are y'all friends or? Anyways, um, obviously the goal is to see more of that. And that is the point. I guess what I would need to do now is take uh, my guys like that. Or well, I guess leave him in there. I don't know. Y'all tell me. Basically, I would take a little bit of this with all these good guys, these little babies and whatnot. Get them in a contained bin. And then, in theory, just feed them until they bulk up like the big boys. Make those bring the breeder bins and go from there, I think. Um, but yeah, so far I don't see any black <clears throat> soldier fly larvae. And that was the main purpose of this video. Oh yeah, there's a lot more of those glossy ones down there. Ugh. I'm still not very... Um, oh yeah, I just like being able to show y'all that. Just clumps of... I wish I had my glove on. Oh man, there we go. I mean, you can see like them hanging out the side. I guess I'll... Let's see if I can find something I can use. I know this video is already getting... Oh, here we go. I got my glove. This video is already getting way longer than I anticipated as well. But it helped really don't care because I'll make more uniform oh yeah what I like is being able to like take some of the layers off and just watch as they yep beep there they are hello sorry I just broke your roof off and then being able to like take these clumps and just look at oh yeah the way they stretch and all that it's pretty cool it shows how uh, versatile they really can be Anyways, Oop. they're just, but, but it is a bunch of babies, so clearly these guys aren't getting the best nutrients, otherwise, well, I mean, I haven't fed them, they've just been in a holdover bin, as I've said, so, um, hopefully a lot of this is picking up on the camera, I really hope this is kind of cool, I don't, I don't know, I'm sure it's about the same that everybody else has seen, though. Um, that's why I just need to then add in, you know, get the bins structured so I can then mess around. Uh, if anybody is watching, one of my main goals that I realized lately is to actually see if, as torturous as it may be for the worms, see if they can, um, with organic material, decompose plastics. Just straight up. Like, I don't care. I want to see if it, it could take a year. But I mean, at the end of the day, if I can just create worm fills instead of landfills and do it honestly based off of like a non-profit type system or somebody, you know, somebody, anything like that. I mean, come on, worms can literally replace landfills and we can do it all pretty much money free. We can do it. Anyways, that's too much ranting. Um definitely need to uh get some of these guys out that's that's enough air for today um i guess i should go ahead and feed them that way at least maybe like yeah let's, let's just get that out the way real quick let's give them something to mess with i got some disgusting english cucumbers that uh did not get used and i mean they're mush so let's see what that mush does brb
I would. Hmm. I guess uh, we'll do salad and chicken. Yeah. And that is why. You prep a workstation before you even start. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I apologize. I will be making another one, obviously, actually doing the bed. Giving it a little circle here. You know, building it up to this level. And then that way, like, we can see what they eat from here to here. Um, I'll use the cardboard and all the good stuff. I'm actually going to use some longing, longing leaves as well to see how they enjoy the leaves. Um, but yeah, I will try to record that tonight when I get off work, since I know exactly what I'm going to be doing now. Um, thanks for watching if you did, and, uh, uh, yeah, in the future I will be making more structured videos about just all the various ways worms can dispose of our garbage. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.